Longitudinal wave is a wave in which the vibrations, formed by the regions of compression and rarefaction, travel parallel to the direction the energy travels. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. The wavelength of a longitudinal wave can be measured with the distance from compression to compression or rarefaction to rarefaction, and the amplitude of a longitudinal wave can be measured by how far particles in a medium are displaced as the wave moves past. Constructive interference in longitudinal waves occurs when compressions of two or more identical waves traveling in the same direction overlap, increasing amplitude and thus volume. In other words, the waves are in phase. Destructive interference in longitudinal waves occurs when compressions and rarefactions of two or more identical waves traveling in the same direction overlap, decreasing amplitude. In other words, the waves are out of phase. Two identical longitudinal waves traveling in opposite directions will create portions of constructive and destructive interference, which can create standing waves. Noise-canceling headphones demonstrate the practical application of destructive interference. Outside noises are picked up by a microphone. Then, identical out-of-phase waves are created by the headphones. As we know, two waves that are out of phase will destructively interfere and cancel out the undesirable waves. The compressions of the outside waves will be cancelled by the rarefactions of the headphones, and the rarefactions of the outside waves will be cancelled by the compressions of the headphones. Speakers facing the same direction are an example of constructive interference. Two speakers can create identical longitudinal waves in phase with each other. If waves traveling in the same direction are in phase, the compressions and rarefactions will match up and increase the amplitude. The greater the amplitude of a sound wave, the louder the volume will be. As you can see, we are demonstrating constructive interference in transverse waves. The crests and troughs are in phase, meaning the crests overlap and the troughs overlap, increasing the amplitude of the wave. Now we are demonstrating destructive interference with transverse waves. The crests and troughs are out of phase, meaning the crests overlap with the troughs, decreasing the amplitude of the wave. These same concepts of constructed and destructive interference apply to a longitudinal wave as well. Constructive interference would occur if the compressions and refractions overlap with their equivalent regions on another wave, and destructive interference would occur if compressions and rarefractions overlapped. We will now demonstrate beats that are created by two tuning forks with the similar but slightly different frequencies. These two frequencies will go in and out of phase and thus constructively and destructively interfere. The periods of constructive interference are what amplifies the sound and forms the beat.